today to stand with us, to stand for Aleppo, and to stand against Russia's war crimes in Syria. It's so important for all of you to be here. You are the voices for Syrians. You are the voices for the voiceless. Thank you for coming here. Don't forget to tell your friends, tell your family, share news about Syria, tweet, write to your MPs, tell them the genocide in Syria must end. I'm going to read our statement for today now. Today, the Syria Solidarity Campaign, Syrians and supporters of Syria are here to protest again against Russia's war crimes in Aleppo. Since mid-November, there has been a renewed Russian offensive against Eastern Aleppo. Over 279,000 people, that's 279,000 people, were already under siege in Eastern Aleppo. That means no food and no medicine can get into Eastern Aleppo. Russia, in partnership with the dictator Assad, decided to compound this mass starvation by a renewed mass bombing campaign. Together, Russia and Assad have conducted over 2,000 airstrikes between November 15th and November 28th. That's 2,000 airstrikes in about two weeks. That includes firing cluster munitions to maximize the carnage and chlorine gas cylinders to suffocate people. They have bombed all of Eastern Aleppo's hospitals and all of the hospitals. Recently, an ambulance driver in Eastern Aleppo said, we are under siege. It's Armageddon out there. Bombs are falling every single second. And people are literally dying in the street. Partnership with literally dying in the street. Compound. In the past 15 minutes, more than 10 barrel bombs have fallen in the immediate vicinity. And it's been going on all day long, just like this. For more than a year now, Russia has been launching unguided bombs in Syria with devastating consequences. Russian forces are responsible for 3.3% of civilian casualties in Syria since their incursion into the conflict to support the dictator Bashar al-Assad. That's more than ISIS, the supposed target of Russian forces. On November 30th, more than 45 residents of Eastern Aleppo were killed and more than 50 injured by indiscriminate shelling as they fled the bombing. Most were women and children. Even rats get better treatment than this. Even rats. As a result of Russia's joint assault on Eastern Aleppo with Assad, 50,000 people have fled the bombing in Eastern Aleppo. 50,000 people out of 279,000 have fled. Many residents who fled have gone missing. What is new about this campaign is that in addition to bombing with fighter planes, they're also launching ballistic missiles from the Mediterranean into Aleppo. They are also launching their fighter jets from an aircraft carrier sitting in the Mediterranean Sea. That aircraft carrier, along with other Russian naval ships, sailed right past us in the English Channel, and nobody did anything about it. Finally, few people know that Russia is not just participating in an air war, it also has a significant presence on the ground 
via military advisors and illegally hired, illegal under Russian law, military advisors and Russian mercenaries to support the dictator Assad, along with many other militias paid for by Iran and along with the terrorist group Hezbollah. The truth of the matter is, Russia believes it will not be held accountable for any war crime it commits in Syria, not by the international community or by its own people. And so far, it has not. We thought things were starting to change. In September, the UK ambassador to the UN openly accused Russia of war crimes at a UN Security Council session. On October 28th, Russia failed to win election to the UN Human Rights Council, the first time that a permanent member of the UN Security Council failed to get elected to the council since it was formed. But nothing has changed for civilians being bombed in eastern Aleppo, nothing. And since, and on December 1st, a group of over 200 civil society groups condemned the UN over its inaction on war crimes committed in Syria. What we would like, we want the war criminals to be punished for their crimes against humanity. We want the UN General Assembly to use UN Resolution 377A, Uniting for Peace, to override the UN Security Council and refer Russia and Assad to the International Criminal Court. We want to see protection of civilians in general and in Aleppo in particular. We want the UK and other governments to airdrop humanitarian aid into eastern Aleppo and the many other areas of Syria besieged by the regime. We want the UK, the EU and other governments to impose sanctions on all Russian individuals and companies involved in Syria. And we want the United States to end the ban of anti-aircraft missiles to Syrian opposition forces. Syrians have a right to self-defense in the face of genocide. Thank you so much for your support, for coming today. It's so cold today, but you're here with us in the freezing weather, standing with Syrians and with the residents of Aleppo against the brutal onslaught Please keep up the work. We need to keep trying. We need to write to our MPs and political representatives. We need to tweet. We need to share Facebook posts. We need to email our friends and family members. We need to talk about what's going on because we will not let this be swept under the rug. All war criminals will be punished and Syria will be free.